Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where I go through a cookbook my aunt has created of a bunch of my grandmother's recipes, and I'm going to go through and do each and every single one of them. And today's recipe is sesame baked chicken. As you can see, all the ingredients and directions are in cursive, so for those who are cursive deficient, I will go through how to do this. In a bowl, combine two-thirds cup evaporated milk, five teaspoons lean parents Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and a quarter teaspoon of Tabasco. Mix it well in a bowl. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get any sort of marinated container. I'm using a gallon freezer bag for this. Put the chicken into the bag, and then pour the marinade over the top, seal the bag, and let it sit for two hours or longer. After the requisite time is up, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, combine three quarters cup crushed corn flakes with a quarter cup of sesame seeds. That's going to be your breading. So take the chicken out of the bag with one hand and with the other one, coat it in the cornflake sesame seed mixture. If I was to make this again, I would suggest a little more of the cornflake and sesame seeds. It was barely enough to cover the chicken for the recipe. Once all the chicken has been breaded and put into a shallow baking pan, you're gonna to wanna to take two tablespoons butter or margarine and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce mixed together and drizzle over the top of the chicken. Then put all of that into a preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. And voila, your sesame baked chicken is complete. Now let's have a taste of this. Did any of the flavors, the weird combinations actually come through in the end? The Worcestershire sauce, the Tabasco, the garlic salt, the salt. I gotta say, no. It was uh, pretty bland. Uh, if I was to make this again, I would probably up the Worcestershire, up the Tabasco, up the garlic, maybe add some paprika, some cayenne, anything else to the actual breading mix. It was pretty, pretty bland for all those ingredients. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all again for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.